Hey, are you okay? You called me yesterday. You sounded really worried, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's nothing. It's just um, my boyfriend cheated on me. <gasps> so here's the thing. When my friend told me that, I was horrified. I mean, how can somebody cheat on their partner, especially when they look like this? I was genuinely feeling sorry for her and the guy for losing out on someone like her. But then it all changed the moment she opened her mouth to explain the situation. No, no, no. It's okay. He said it was an accident and I forgave him. Excuse me? What do you mean by an accident? Do you mean that he went out with a girl and accidentally slept with her? Chapati, what? Falling off a bike? An accident. Running the red light? Maybe it could be an accident. Beating up your son? My parents say it was an accident. Wanting to bake a cake with your friend but accidentally baking her instead? Well, currently that is an accident too. You don't trip and fall into a vagina or a dick by accident. You do just like drop and be like, oh, oh no. Let's just, you know, since we're already here, let's just continue. Chapati, do you even know what accident means? Cheating is not an accident, it is a choice. It requires thought, intent and effort. You would need brains, basically. Let me just tell you this, cheating is not easy. Like literally, do you know how many steps you have to go through just to cheat with someone? You swipe right on her, she swipes right on her. It is a match made in heaven. Then you both start having really good conversation. Then you send her some emoji just to let her know that you're not a boring person. And she'll be like, wow, this guy is such a nice guy. But wait, you're not a nice guy. You're a cheating son of a bitch. So what do you do to hide this fact? You get another number, another phone just to text this other girl so that your current girlfriend doesn't find out. Then what do you do? You go out with this other girl. You go to places where nobody recognizes you because if they do, they will tell your girlfriend, you're very smart about this. Then what happens? She gets turned on. You start making out with her, she gets even more turned on. Then your dark night rises. Then you put in the bad mobile because you don't want STD or HIV. Then you go inside the tunnel, in and out, in and out, in and out. But again, you're very smart. What happens in few months? You get caught. But what do you say? It was all an accident and your girlfriend be like, oh, it's okay, it's cool. It was just an accident. It's easy just to rob a bank. Some people would say it's the other person's fault for going after someone who's in a relationship. Chapati, no it's not. For example, you play a football, you see a goalkeeper, you still score. That is how life is. Everyone is going to go after someone whether they're in a relationship or not. It is just in human nature to do that. But it is your responsibility as a person who is in a relationship to shut your dick and vagina out and just say, Abishtu. The worst part about this is the person who is in a relationship that got cheated on feels bad about themselves. I would just like to let you know, they cheated on you because they wanted to. They lied because they could. And now they are sorry because they got caught. It was always about them. Because if they thought about you, they would have never done it in the first place. And if you think it was an accident and you forgave that person because it was an accident, then dumb kurma, you probably deserve to be cheated on. Stop.